Hey, what's the YouTube fam? It's your girl TK and I am at home vlogging, darling. And today I have decided that I wanted to get online real quick and I'm here real, real quick and talk to you guys about Ron DeSantis, Donald Trump, and the fact that Ron DeSantis wants to launch his uh, presidential campaign using Twitter. I mean, to me, that is definitely giving interesting, but I want you guys to know something. When I speak about Ron DeSantis, in a way, it's going to come across a little biased. And the reason being is because Ron DeSantis is really not friendly to towards minorities in my opinion this man has said that he does not want diversity and inclusion he does not want to talk about african-american studies he wants to ban ban remove and only wants to keep constitutional carry and that to me is a horror story in its entirety but what i am trying to um talk to you guys today about is this article about abc news now, it was really giving interesting to hear um, Donald Trump and what he has to see as like a, I guess, a competitor or someone competing against Ron DeSantis. And the reason being is because for so long, he has really been an advocate for Ron DeSantis. And as of recent, this man is like, no, Ron, you should not run for president. This is not the time for you to be out here promoting your brand right now, because in all reality, that's what he's doing. Now, I'm going to read this article to you guys, and it's coming from ABC News, and um, I thought it was interesting. And I want you guys to let me know what your thoughts is on what Donald Trump is saying out here. Now, it says, um, it goes off by saying, wow, the DeSantis, or however you say it, <laughs> I guess this is the day that um, Donald Trump likes to give him. But I'm going to say the DeSantis Twitter launch is a disaster Trump wrote on the true social media platform, his whole campaign will be a disaster. Watch. It's just so interesting not to stop this article, but it's really interesting to see that off a rip, the first thing that Donald Trump is saying is that, you know, Ron DeSantis using Twitter is a disaster and it should not have been used. But you know what? Honestly, I think that a lot of media accounts are saying that now, like he should not have been um, using Twitter to, you know, campaign. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead on with this article. Um, now, they're using this German word and I think it's spelled or pronounced Schadenfreude. Uh, S-C-H-A-D-E-N-F-R-E-U-D-E, -E -E, the German word for taking pleasure in another's failure, might understand the glee Trump and his team felt as DeSantis glitch written Twitter audio chat with billionaire SpaceX founder Elon Musk failed to lift off for about 20 minutes. Now, that's something I did not know. So they had people waiting almost 20 minutes and it did not even start until like 20 minutes after the starting time. That is so interesting. Now, it goes on to say, as hundreds of thousands of listeners logged off, Trump alley share images to represent their excitement, a glass of wine and a laughing to tears emoji among them. Trump quickly posted a video to so, uh, to True Social that showed contrasting images of his boisterous campaign announcements last year in a Twitter screen showing the DeSantis discussion preparing to launch. But Trump advisors also used the moment to argue that the file up was reflective of DeSantis in his operation on the whole. Glitchy tech issues, uncomfortable silence, a complete failure to launch. Trump campaign spokesman Steve Kroon, uh, excuse me, Stephen Chong said, and that's just the candidate. Damn, you know, it's just really interesting to see that they are really targeting Ron DeSantis. They feel that Ron DeSantis at this moment is really a failure. You guys are going to have to let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts, opinions, and attitudes. Honestly, again, I may come across as biased. This man to me is used to be a school teacher, you know, a professional school teacher. And this man was giving alcohol to students, you know, getting real comfortable and cozy with children. And on top of that, he's advocating um, on behalf of a murderer. This man um, named Penny, his last name is Penny. He choked um, a homeless man. And now Ron DeSantis is out here like, yeah, this is a, a great person. Let me, you know, bid and put up money for this man who killed someone. 
And I know he's a veteran and all, but no, this is not behavior that should be tolerated at all. You don't just go up to people and you kill them. That should not be a comfortable thing. And if I know anyone who has ever done that, I will say the same damn thing. I do not, I will not stand with anyone who agrees with those egregious acts. I just, I just don't, you know, that's why I guess I stand alone. I'm always to myself because, you know, I just, certain things I just don't deal with. Anyhow, with that being noted, I wanted to share this article with you guys. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so very much. I have a lot of content on Ron DeSantis as well as Donald Trump. And just to see what they're saying out here as of lately as competitors, um, basically, basically, excuse me, competing for the presidential campaign has definitely been given interesting. Anyhow, peace, love, and happiness. Bye, guys.